Hi everyone. Today I am here with another video that is showing the mechanism of occipital posterior position. In occipital posterior position the head engages in the right oblique diameter in the right oblique diameter of the pelvis for right occipital posterior position and in the left oblique diameter of the pelvis for left occipital posterior position. The engaging diameters the transverse diameter is biparietal 9.5 centimeter and the anterior posterior diameter is either suboccipital frontal 10 centimeter or occipital frontal 11.5 centimeter according to the degree of flexion of the head. So now we are moving to the mechanism as usual here also first we should tell the definition of mechanism as the fetus descends the soft tissues and bony structures exert pressure which force it to negotiate the birth canal through a series of passive movements and these movements are collectively known as the mechanism of labor. Next one principles descent takes place throughout the labor whichever part comes and meets the resistance of the pelvic floor will rotate forward until it comes under the symphysis pubis whichever part emerges out of the pubic pubic bone will pivot around the pubic bone here the lie is longitudinal attitude is deflexed it is not fully flexed like this it is deflexed presentation is vertex position is right occipital posterior or left occipital posterior presenting part is middle or anterior part of the left parietal bone and the denominator is occiput. Occiput is pointing towards the sacroiliac joint that is in the case of ROP that is in the case of right occipital posterior it is pointing towards the right sacroiliac joint and in LOP it is pointing towards the left sacroiliac joint and the ilio, ilio and the sinciput pointing towards the, the sinciput pointing towards the opposite side iliopectineal eminence that is in the case of ROP occiput is pointing towards the right sacroiliac joint and sinciput is pointing towards the left iliopectineal eminence and in LOP occiput is pointing towards the left sacroiliac joint and sinciput is pointing towards the right iliopectineal eminence occipital frontal diameter 11.5 centimeter lies in the right oblique diameter of the brim in the case of ROP it lies in the right oblique diameter of the brim and in case of LOP it lies that is occipital frontal diameter 11.5 centimeter lies in the left oblique diameter of the brim. Now we can see the positional movements or cardinal movements I will just list down it engagement, descent, flexion, internal rotation of the head crowning, extension, restitution, internal rotation of the shoulder, external rotation of the head, lateral flexion. See the movements are same as like normal LOA or ROA. The differences we will see when, when, when I am doing the mechanism. First one is engagement. In engagement, already we have seen engagement takes place in ROP here I am going to do the ROP engagement takes place in the right oblique diameter of the pelvis that is in the right oblique the sagittal suture will be in the right oblique diameter of the pelvis iliopectineal eminence uh, will be sinciput will be pointing towards the iliopectineal eminence and occiput is pointing towards the right sacroiliac joint and the engaging diameters already we have seen it is biparietal 9.5 centimeter and occipital frontal 11.5 centimeter. Next one is descent. Descent takes place throughout the labor. Next flexion. Descent occurs with increasing flexion of the occiput and after flexion this occipital frontal 11.5 may become suboccipital frontal 10 centimeter. Next one is internal rotation of the head. Here when the occiput comes and meets the resistance of the pelvic floor it will rotate forward as per the principle it has to rotate forward until it comes under the symphysis pubis. Here it will rotate forward 3 by 8th of the circle along the right side of the pelvis to come under the 
or lie under the symphysis pubis. At the same time, the shoulder rotates 2 by 8th of the circle and reaches the oblique diameter of the right oblique diameter of the pelvis. See, the head rotates 3 by 8th of the circle and comes under the symphysis pubis. At the same time, the shoulder rotates 2 by 8th of the circle and comes to the right oblique diameter of the pelvis. Next one is crowning. This in this the occiput impinges beneath the symphysis pubis and the head is crowned. And next extension, the head is borne by extension. So the sinciput, face and chin sweeps the perineum. Next restitution, the twisting movement that has occurred during the internal rotation is corrected by slight and twisting movement. That is a restitution. And the shoulder now the shoulder and body is in the same alignment. Next is internal rotation. Now the shoulder is meeting the resistance of the pelvic flow. So it will rotate 1 by 8th of the circle. Already it has rotated 2 by 8th of the circle and it came to the right oblique diameter of the pelvis. We have seen. So this will rotate balance 1 by 8th of the circle and now the shoulder will be in the anterior posterior diameter of the pelvis. At the same time external rotation of the head also will occur. At the same time external rotation of the head also will occur. The head rotate 1 by 8th of the circle to the right. So now the face is pointing towards the left thigh and occiput is pointing towards the right thigh. And next is lateral flexion. The anterior shoulder escapes under the symphysis pubis and the posterior shoulder sweeps the perineum and the body is borne by lateral flexion towards mother's abdomen. So that is all about the mechanism of right occipital posterior position. Thank you for watching the video.